Coaches and players, welcome back to Coach Nate Hartman on YouTube. Check out more free content at CoachNateHartman.com. Make sure to follow me on Twitter on X at Nate Hartman underscore or on Instagram at Nate Hartman underscore. Make sure to like and subscribe to this video. I have a free ball handling workout for you guys if you can prove that you have liked and subscribed. I've received lots of great feedback about the uh, ball handling workout. But let's jump into some SGA film study uh, on some early games this year for him. He's one of my absolute favorite players in the league to watch. He has great body control, great pace. Um, so let's take a look at some of his uh, scores at the rim, how he does it, and how he is being effective this year. I mean, the Thunder are a young, young team. They are going to be a force to be reckoned with. They have all those draft picks that Sam Presti has acquired, and it's really led by SGA. Look at his ability to change direction here. Let's break this down, down again. So he gets the bigger defender on him that he wants. He's through the legs, through the legs again after one dribble, one step to change direction. That Look at the defender's feet are now crossed up a little bit, which gives SGA the advantage here. And then he's able to stop. He plants hard on this foot pushes back to create separation look at how much space he has to hit that jump shot that's a that's a shot that he sits and takes and shoot around that he sits and takes in practice and it's all because he was able to change direction and then he was able to stop he changed pace he stopped on a dime pushed back created some separation and he can knock down that shot obviously he is a great player an all-star in this league there, he just slows down his steps at the rim, and we'll see some more of that throughout this breakdown, but he does a great job of just slowing down. Drive, drive, stop, create some space again, jump shot. That's similar to that last jump sh shot we saw. Now in transition, he loves to go to the Euro, so you're going to see his left foot plant hard here. The ball is across his left hip. Then he rips it high to prevent it from being stripped. Steps wide with that right foot and finishes with his eyes and his chin to the rim. Eyes and chin have to be up on the rim. Eyes and chin early. Pick it up with your eyes up. That'll increase your finishing percentage. Here he's got a screen. He's gonna go ahead and reject it. He has the matchup that he wants. He sees space. DeMar DeRozan's in the corner. Can't really help much strong side. And now watch here. He's gonna change. He's gonna just be able to stop again and create a whole bunch of space. Crosses over again. Look at this. Look at the space that he has. This is a shot that he is taking in a game. This looks like it should be a shot that he's taken in warmups, but it's because of his ability to stop. Devin Booker's really good at stopping as well. Not a lot of people can do it. Stop, maintain balance, maintain posture. Damian Lillard's really good at it. Watch this post move here. I love this move. Step, ball fake, ball fake again. He's going to reverse pivot, ball fake again. Gets him up in the air, and now he's going to step through for a finish. Elite footwork. Great footwork will get you out of trouble. Now he's working on Donovan Mitchell, gets to his spot, high-quality finish. He shoots that ball with some soft touch up above the square. In the post, turnaround jumper, nearly unstoppable. Here he's got some space to work. He's going to kind of reject this screen. Why? Because his defender has jumped to it. It's not between him and the hoop anymore. So he's going to cross over, get into an attack. He draws a switch with Niang, not able to stay in front of him. Gets to a left-handed floater, follows it with a tip and with his left hand. Just really, really good. Here his defender is on the top side of him. There is nobody between him and the hoop. He needs to immediately go to the hoop. Josh Giddy sees it, a great passer, a great player, another fun guard to watch that we'll have to break down as well, but he leads him right to the hoop for a layup. But those are IQ things, players, that you have to understand. Your defender is not between you and the hoop. You need to go to the hoop. That's what triggers a backdoor cut. If you can see your defender's numbers or you can see the back of his head, you need to go backdoor. It's an easy way to score. Here he is in transition. Gets to the other side of the rim to front the shot block. Here in the post, hit. Uses that Barkley dribble. Now he's going to come over. Pump fake, create contact, fade away. I love that he created that extra bump there. That shot probably gets blocked or is at least highly contested if he doesn't use that fake. Slows down his steps. 
He's great with his weak hand at the rim. A finish. Back into the post with Mitchell. He loves that fadeaway shot, really over either shoulder, which makes him extremely dangerous. Here between the legs, which allows him to do what? Change direction. Gets to a spot, stops, elevates, knockdown. Here he's going to use a screen from Dort. Clearly has the advantage. Down the middle of the lane, left hand, wanted a foul. Ball fake, step through, high quality finish. I mean, look at the ways this guy can score. How good is he? Stops, pulls between his legs, creates a lot of space on Caruso, who's a good defender, gets back behind the three-point line, knocks down the three. Here he's got the matchup he wants again, a little hesitation dribble. He's going to go through the legs. His defender's given him space because he's been burned a few times by him downhill. Through the legs, snatches it back, gets his... He doesn't bend quite as far as some of the other shooters, but... Again, his hips are down, his back is straight, his chin is up. His feet are about shoulder length apart. Some shooters get a little bit more wide than he does. It really it doesn't matter. You can be nitpicky with some of that. I don't want him much more narrow than he is. Um, but obviously, he has you know mastered his shot, become an all-star, and is somebody who, who hits that on a consistent basis. There he is again from three. Here he's going to set a screen. He's going to pop. He's behind the three. This looks exactly like the last shot we saw from him. Obviously, great shooters are going to shoot the same shot every single time. If you struggle with that, that's one thing you need to lock in on, dial in on, is how to shoot the same shot every time. Let's take a look at his assists. Now, he draws a lot of eyes because of his scoring ability here. Josh Giddy cuts back door. Why? Kobe White's above him and he does not see him so Josh Giddy can see the back of his head or his number but most importantly the teaching point that I like even more is Kobe White is not between Josh Giddy and the hoop which triggers a backdoor cut okay he doesn't go to him because there's some help side kicks to the corner for Holmgren who eventually gets a shot up again that cut can open up other things on the offense though Yes, the ball did not come directly to Giddy because of that cut, but it pulled another tag, it pulled the low tag defender to get up and hit him, and they were able to skip to the corner to Holmgren. Holmgren's going to have a great career if he continues to play with SGA. Obviously, Holmgren's talented on his own, but with all those eyes on SGA, Holmgren is really going to benefit from that. And that's just great vision. Got into some trouble, had two defenders, kicks it out to a shooter. Great one-handed hook pass. Guards, players making passes. It's an underrated aspect of passing abilities to throw a strike. One, the shooter should be shot ready, have his hands up, ready to catch and shoot. Look at that strike. He hit him right in the shooting pocket. If you can, the percentages, and I should pull them. I don't have them directly with me right now, but percentages go up drastically when you hit a shooter in his pocket. Versus when he has to bend down to pick up the ball, whether he has to reach high to pick up the ball. If you can hit a shooter right in the pocket, one, you're going to get more assists. Two, your teammates are going to shoot the ball better. Three, you're going to win more games. Okay, that's just an insane pass. Cross court, left hand, hits Lou Dort in the pocket on a dime, on a rope. There's another one, left hand, hits the cutter at the rim. Here he gets a little creative. Battles for a loose ball. 50-50 balls matter. That ends up being a 50-50 ball. Pocket pass to a popping Holmgren. Change direction. Little lob pass. He draws two. Watch. Jokic has to watch him. So he's got four sets of eyes on him right now. Holmgren's open from three. He sees that. Throws a little bounce pass. Holmgren gets the stampede catch meaning he catches it on the move, gets downhill, gets a little advantage for an easy score. Left-handed hook. 
Guys, hope you enjoyed this look at Shea Gilgis Alexander. He led the NBA last season in paint touches. It looks like he's on pace to do that again. The Thunder are playing well right now. Make sure to like and subscribe this video. Send me a screenshot that you liked it, that you subscribed to my channel on Twitter at Nate Hartman underscore or on Instagram at Nate Hartman underscore. I'll send you guys a free ball handling workout. Also, for a bunch of more free resources and video breakdowns, make sure to check out CoachNateHartman.com. We'll see you guys next time.